Well, hello there, boys and girls. It's your old pal, Stinky Whizzleteats. Here to play more 60 minutes to lose, because we're going to lose 60 minutes of our day in this. Today's episode is, of course, the great Tetris, developed by Nintendo R&D 1, published by Nintendo. You all know what Tetris is, probably. If you don't, uh, I'd like to know what hole you crawl out of. Yeah, there we go, music one. It's not the same as Game Boy Tetris. Except this is. Interesting. We'll start with uh, music one, because, you know, it's how I roll. And I'm going to type, uh, game type A. Now, what do you want me to tell you? Immediately, don't expect some high-level Tetris play here. I wouldn't call myself a Tetris master by any stretch of the imagination. The one thing that I know is, um... You want to focus, more than anything, on developing very large, uh, holes. Like this. Don't, it just, don't just immediately plug every hole that you stumble upon here. Because or else you're not going to be able to reap the rewards of getting a Tetris. Yes, that's right, the game is in fact called Tetris because, uh... It's called a Tetris when you get a long one, and you clear a whole... ...row like this here. Unfortunately, uh, we are not being granted any long ones right now, it would seem. There we go. I don't know where to put this one. There's really no good place for it, so it's gonna go right there. And then watch that. Maximum points. I'm not- I'm not outstanding at Tetris, but I know the basic concepts here. It's just executing on those concepts might be a little bit of a, uh, a shit show, admittedly. I'm gonna need another long one, unfortunately. While I, in the meantime, try to, uh, live. There we go. There we go. Perfect. If this were, uh, Tetris 99, the Tetris Battle Royal, that would have indeed been considered a solid play. But that, now that's, that's gonna screw me up, but quite frankly, I didn't have a better place to put it. I probably did and panicked. Same with that. I'm creating little gaps, so I will not be able to create full Tetrises there. Is that plural for Tetris? Tetrises? Okay. The game has turned green. Uh, I'm just going to assume that that's cause for alarm. Shit. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. However, we can plug that hole just like that. Additionally, not very good right here. Oh my god. Okay. I need to do that for now, which is actually perfectly fine. That didn't ruin my life or anything. I think... Can I T-spin this in? Nope. I, I was hoping for a sick little T-spin there. Didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta clear this little pile of garbage that we've formed here at the bottom of the screen. We have reached the garbage. Now we just need to clear it out. Okay, perfect. It's gonna be very, very difficult for me to uh, articulate anything during this episode because Tetris uses approximately 100% of the human brain. You don't even, like, ambiently use 100% of the brain from what I hear, although that could just be an old wives' tale for all I know. Those wives, they do love to tell tales. Didn't want to stack that up right there, actually. But I appear to have not been too badly... Never mind, I, I have indeed been punished. I just didn't know it yet. It's so odd, playing Tetris with the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, you know? Like, this is... this is not your typical Tetris music. Okay. Don't get so focused on points that you sacrifice your own survivability. That's an important tip. Aw, oh, 
die, you son of a bitch. One of the few times you'll see me place a horizontal long boy. You know what about this? Yes. Now that we have this, uh... Square brick, that feels like an even worse play than it was initially. This is gonna be a, an infuriating episode to watch if you're any good at Tetris. Because it's, it's just gonna be me fumbling the entire time. Although, admittedly, I'm... I'm not gonna claim I'm doing great, but I'm doing marginally better than I suspected I would have done. I haven't played Tetris in quite some time. So, if I was ever in practice, I'm certainly out of it at this point. Oh god, better put it over there. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, was a, a nice little T. And then we get that right there. Uh, better put you over here, maybe, and then you over here. That's the wrong... block. Recovered. Don't even look at me. Okay. So, uh, outside of Tetris, what's been going on? Um, you know, saw Charlie XCX last night. That concert has happened. Another one to knock off the list. It was okay. Um, it was her Crash tour, and quite frankly, I think Crash is... I don't want to say trash, because that would be extremely rude, but it's not her best album. This is kind of a downgrade from what she's been doing. So, there's that. But, it was fun enough, you know? We sat directly behind some very, very annoying people who thought that we would dance with them, and it's like, sorry, now we're gonna have to look super unapproachable to you, because you're not understanding the concept of personal boundaries. I shouldn't have put that there. That was a really miserable place to put that. But again, that's, that's what panicking does to you in this game. I'm staying alive. I'm not gonna set any high scores. I mean, I set the built. I've beat the built-in high score, but come on, you're gonna get excited about that. Probably a mistake. Ah, I'm not gonna call that much a mistake. I think we're okay. See, whenever people are like packing or something, and they're trying to maximize their space, they always say that they're tetrising. But that's that's not really uh, that's not really true. You have as much time as you need while you're packing a car. In Tetris, you're rushed the whole time. Okay, get up. Work towards that garbage hole here. I don't remember what the final, like, difficulty level in Tetris is. I don't remember... Is it 9? No, it goes way beyond 9, right? There's no way it's just 9. It's like... Well, okay, there's... The max that you, as an average human being, would expect to reach, and then there's, like, the actual, like, human upper limit, which is astronomically high, because human beings are insane at Tetris. Oh, that was- that was the worst ever. That I feel like I have to personally apologize to everybody who witnessed it. Okay. Like, just- just a genuinely terrible block placement. Okay. Create a giant hole there, which will become a problem. Ah, never mind, it won't become a problem at all, because we were granted with a, uh, very timely long boy. The best part about Tetris is I can just say things like, I do this and then I do that, and it becomes um, a self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't have to, like, expand on it, because you all know what's going on. You have eyes, presumably. Okay. Pretty good. We made it back to the bottom of the screen. Shit. <laughs> and then we immediately botch it up. Oh. Botch it up uh, a little bit more. This is, yeah, level 9 is like where if I make it to level 9, I get happy because I know that I'm not gonna survive much longer. The, the human upper limit is like something absurdly high. My upper limit, 9. <laughs> 
which is probably very average. Honestly, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's go yeah, it's going too fast now. So, if you've ever wondered how good I am at Tetris, not very. <laughs> oh, look, we get a little cutscene though. It's a rocket going into space. Does that mean we did a good job? Does that mean we've appeased the Tetris gods? Is, will the rocket ever come back down? Will anything happen with the rocket? Oh no, I just have to hit start. Oh, Howard, look at that. Oh, if he's Howard, then I am... Wait, wait for it. This will be the, this will be the joke of the century right now. You're gonna... You're not- you're probably not gonna laugh. You'll get mild amusement. He's Howard, and I am the duck. Ooh. <laughs> Very clever, right? Uh, okay. We do it again because that's what this episode is going to be. Tetris... There's very little to it. Maybe I'll do some game type B after a couple haggard attempts of normal Tetris. But that's about uh, that's about all we can milk out of it, right? But unlike some games where I would say, oh, it lacks content, Tetris is like, I don't need any more content. Well, this this is a predicament. I'll put it right there. And then insist it wasn't a bad move. As everybody else looks at me with a concerned look on their face. But look at that. No, don't put it there. But there's no other place to put it. Oh god. You know what? It's not a Tetris, but I had I had to do something. Something had to be done. This can go there. This can go there. This... There's no good place for this right now, so we stack it up here, and I'm gonna regret it immediately. That's also not a Tetris, but, again, you have to have a sense of self-preservation about Tetris as well. You can't, uh... When you're playing at the, the low, low level that I'm playing at, you can't expect everything to be picture-perfect. By that, I mean you can expect virtually nothing to be picture-perfect. <laughs> oh, God. So instead I'm just gonna meander about wildly looking like I don't know what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, this isn't good. It kind of fits in there, but it also screws things up in the future. So be it. Do I look like I care about screwing things up? Screw that up, now I need a long one in there. I'm great on those, you know, split-second decision-making abilities, as you can clearly see. It's okay, we're building up a hole there, we're building up a hole here. The second we get a long boy, we're gonna feast. And by feast, I mean be in a mildly better situation. Check it out, a mildly better situation, as anticipated. Long boy there. Unfortunately, we now need to rely on getting another long boy, which has immediately been granted to us. And you thought I was in danger. That's called uh, artificial building of suspense. It was so artificial that even I believed it. Wait, I mean, it was so realistic that even I believed it. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Okay, we're just gonna slot you right in there and hope that it's not the worst thing that I've ever done. I'm beginning to immediately regret my decisions. Uh, where do you go? How about right there? <laughs> it's beginning to look like the worst thing I've ever done, isn't it? We just, uh, we just cradle that in there. You may be asking, what are you doing, you idiot? It's a fantastic question, actually. If you can find an answer... I'd be happy to know it. This goes here. Which one is this guy? Ah, oh, shit. No, it's fine. This goes here. I don't want a long one right now, though. That was bad. I just blocked off that garbage pit that I have to clear out. Oh, 
this is why I'm not in any positions of management in the real world. That and also because I don't care. Sometimes, you know, you're at work and people are like, Oh, but what do you see yourself doing in the company in a few years? I'm like, quite frankly, doing exactly what I'm doing right now because I don't care. Like, oh, you don't want to make more money? Not if it means doing more. <laughs> hey! Uh, that was almost a Tetris, you know, if it weren't for more garbage. We can put that there. That's fine. We can put that there. It's also fine. Wish this was a different piece. This T is fine, though. And I mean merely fine. That, it's okay. Wait for the salvation of the long boy yet again. Yes, so sometimes salvation comes quick. I know I'm building on top of my hole. I'm not gonna rephrase it. Don't love that. I don't love anything I'm doing right now. It's also because I lack confidence in myself as a Tetris player. It happens, you know? That goes there, easy. Now, we just pray that I don't get completely screwed with uh, drops. It appears I'm getting completely screwed with drops. You know what? Call an audible there. Call another audible. Oh, look. Look who finally showed up to the party right when I needed him least. Okay, we're building down, though. We are recovering. We haven't gotten a single full Tetris. But I'm going to inject pure, co pure copium into my veins and say, who needs it? Yes. Build ourselves into the terrible position where we need to rely on a long one again. And immediately get the long one. See, complaining works, my dudes. Oh, shh. That was, that was just a blatant misplay. You gotta believe me that that was not, uh, that was not the intended destination of that block. Anyway. Going to another show tonight, but I took the day off, so I have time to record this episode. See? Big smart. This is the Rotting Christ show tonight, which I'm so, so excited for. A lot of good bands on the bill. Storm Ruler, Veil of Panaf, Ghost Bath, Abigail Williams, Bork Nagar. I'm not actually the hugest Bork Nagar fan. Like, they're alright. I don't dislike them. But... I don't know. They're not... They're not like the Kings of black metal or folk metal for me. I guess they've been more folk metal in recent years than black metal. Maybe that's part of it. I actually find folk metal kind of dorky sometimes. But, you know. I'm super on the fence, because, um... Opeth and Mastodon are playing Sunday night, and I love both of those bands. And Chemist is opening, and I like Chemist too. I love all those bands. But I'm also like, will I have the energy? There's a Tetris. We, we've done it. After going to multiple shows the week leading up to it, will I even, like... <laughs> will I be standing by the time Sunday comes along? So I'm... I don't know. The show is not sold out, so... There's another Tetris. It's, sometimes it's just that easy. So I don't know. I really gotta ponder that one for a while, but I'll only have until Sunday to ponder it, assuming that it doesn't sell out by then, which I don't think it will. Minnesota's not a huge metal hotspot, so typically metal shows like that are pretty easy to get into. Like, that Rod in Christ tour is selling out in a lot of places, but it hasn't Minnesota. In all fairness, though, it's also a much larger venue that they're playing at in Minnesota than they have been in other stops. That's not good. That's also not good. Shit. Okay. This reminds you of 
that that classic uh, comic that someone made like ages ago, where it's like Tetris Man. It's this it's this dude just wearing like a generic outfit, and he's like throwing blocks or something, and he's and he shouts, "I need a fucking long one." I don't know. It's early internet kitsch. And I don't mean early internet, like, BBS <laughs> boards. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, actual graphical WWW internet. Shit. Oh my god. No, no, this is, this is where I lose... This is where I lose my baloney, man. I just... I, 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 I don't know how you... I can't move my D-pad that fast. However, look at that top score. Destroyed my previous best. That's pretty good. If you can't do that much better, at least do somewhat better. So I'm averaging like 10 minutes a run. You are a Tetris master? I'm a Tetris master. You hear that? A Tetris master deserves my real name. My real life name. Can I hit? Yeah, let's try some B type. Level one, height zero, sure. Alex, Tony, and Nintendo. Ah, oh, right. This is where you have to like actually like clear a certain amount of lines to win the game, right? If it's if I'm remembering this correctly. Don't want the long one yet. Just honestly get out of my get out of my face, long one. We're not prepared for you. Now we are. There's no reason why you can't clear lines and get a good score. However. <laughs> almost put that in a very, very inconvenient spot. Yeah, build build on the garbage hole. And then regret everything that you've ever done. You know what? Whatever. High score. I was never here for it. Never cared anyway. Okay, we've we've landed on our feet, I think. Don't make a mistake and then give up forever. Make a mistake and then land on your feet. so many long, long pieces because of this disaster zone that I'm creating here. Oh my god. It's okay, Tetris. I know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, and then here, we just, uh... <laughs> we screw it up in every possible way, by every available metric. We have done a poor job. I panicked and was like, gotta cram that button as fast as I can! Anyway, boy, we're, we're making a lot of real long pits here, aren't we? And then expanding on those pits. Try a little bit of that, you know. Um, some people might call this poor Tetris play, but I'm I'm a stronger human being than that, and I prefer to call it experimental Tetris play. See, watch this. We're got experimental Tetris play at its finest, right there. Actually, don't get it twisted. I only need to clear three more lines. If I can't clear three lines at level zero. Then what am I doing? Right? I'm, I should clearly be playing a different game. Anyway, we have succeeded. That's a high score. That's game type B for you, man. 
name? Why, I'm glad you asked. They call me Bert. This is half the fun of the game, is coming up with names to put on the high scoreboard. Let's try level one. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let's try, let's try level zero at like five height. Oh my god, it's so long, it's so tall. What are you doing to me, game? Good thing you're so sluggishly slow right now, because otherwise I would maybe feel a little bit... Oh no, no, I need a long one now. Or do I? Let me block up the hole where I needed a long one. Okay. Recovering, recovering. See, it's nice that they put game type B in here. It gives you, gives you a little something different to do. Even Columns didn't have a game type B. Yes, even Columns. <laughs> I said as if Columns is a game that anybody has ever given a shit about. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead and play your fast music. You will not intimidate me. I will not be scared by your. That's the speed play that, by the way. Oh, you thought that was a misplay? No, that was calculated. That's exactly how I wanted it to be. I'm giving the game whiplash. It doesn't know what to do now. It's like. Do I, do I try to scare him? Do I, uh, do I slow down? I don't know what to do. It's all because nobody has ever done it better. If the game calls me a Tetris Master, I'm sorry. That means I'm a Tetris Master. I don't make the rules, man. I just... I just tell you what I'm seeing in the world. Success. Wow, congratulations. You beat Height 5 at, uh... Speed 0. Yeah, some people do in fact call me a wizard. But check this one out. Check this thing. This is some classic going to the arcade stuff here. You look like you're gonna make your name butt, and everyone's like, Oh, you rascal! You can't just make your name butt! But then you make it butte. And everyone's like, Oh, you rascal! We thought you were gonna make it butt! Uh, but, you know what, let's, let's try, like, some different music for one. Uh, let's try, like, level 5, height 0. How about... Now this, this song was in the Game Boy version. Look at that symmetry. Symmetry ruined! Damn it. It was looking so beautiful. You know, 5 isn't really that much different from 0. You still have plenty of time to make decisions. This song is a jam, actually. It's not like the classic Tetris song, but it vibes, man. You can try to argue against that, but I think... Oh, you're barking up the wrong tree with that argument. Okay, well, that, that was that was a really bad drop. Clearly, I need to get my eyes adjusted. You know what? We do this. Immediately clears out one spot there. We do this. Try to get a little bit closer to unearthing our little mistake. I hate putting that there, honestly. But now we can fill in this mistake, and now we just need to make it to the very, very bottom, which we have done. Maybe I'm not as awful as Tetris as I was letting on. Like, I'm far from great, but I think I'm holding my own here. One might argue that that was not a great move. I might argue, hey, uh, don't throw stones. 
not, I'm, I'm not gonna add on to the saying. I'm not gonna say don't throw stones in glass houses, which is what we may have assumed I would say. But now I've ruined the bit by saying it anyway. How not to entertain. 101. You're welcome. Thank you for signing up for my course. Uh, you know, far from ideal, but what else am I really going to do here? I need the other L piece. Is what I need. And they're not giving it to me. They're not giving me my Pepsi. No, put it over here. Don't be dumb. I mean, yeah, you've created a giant cap on your hole, and now you're creating another pit. What are you doing, man? You just got done saying how you weren't actually that bad at Tetris, and now you're like, here's, here's all the things you should never ever do. It doesn't matter. I won. It's game type B. Who cares? Look at that. I'm a Tetris master yet again. What am I gonna name myself now? Wait. I, it's gonna be the, the worst spelling of George you've ever seen. There we go. George. With a J... J-O-R-J-H. Oof. Okay, how about level 5 height 5? This this might screw me up a little bit. Well, again, it doesn't feel like it's actually that fast. That, that wasn't the speed, that was my, my tiny, tiny brain in, um, destroying itself from the inside out. Music do be going very fast, though. That's <laughs> beautiful. It sounds like the last uh, Black Lady album. And I'm not talking the YouTube genre where you slap some music into a uh, piano simulator and say, haha, look, it's so funny, it's so fast. No, I'm talking the Avon Prog band, Black Lady. Ah, shit. So, if I didn't screw up that initial placement, I would have been fine. Source, trust me. We're gonna try it again, because I, I... This doesn't seem like height 5. This is way less. Are you trying to short me, game? Am I really gonna get upset at you for giving me an easier board? Absolutely, I came here to flex. Even though I got no muscle. Whatever. We we deal with it. Okay, okay, okay. What now, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. I would prefer if you answered, though, because I don't know. Okay, we put this, this brick here, we put this here, we put this over here, probably, do a little bit of this, and look at this, now you're cooking with oil, and you're burning your entire kitchen down, as well as the kitchen of your sworn enemy. Look at that. Pretty nifty, huh? You get that tea piece in there? You get that right there, this right here, and then... Voila! You've unearthed the whole kind of... You know? Tetris is exactly what I expected from Tetris. As far as versions of Tetris go... This is a version of Tetris. It's the kind of episode where, like, what do you really say? How do you grade the game? It's like... It is, it is what it is. And normally I hate the saying, it is what it is. I'm like, well, that's a great way of saying literally nothing. Wow, we didn't even beat George's high score. And that was on, like, height zero. Um, I wish I could put Henry in quotes. Oh, now 
check this one out. Check this one out. This is this is some high level naming strategies that the kids in the arcade wouldn't teach you about. It's quite frankly, it's beyond them. You put but in parentheses and it looks like you're whispering it. It's like you But My goodness, Kitty is angry. Oh, what are you doing? What are you screaming about? Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but she's she's unhappy. Okay, we're at a fairly high speed here, but only a height of one, in an attempt to make this palatable. We'll see if I can manage or not. Really, it's once once you hit speed nine is when it gets unbearable. Give me a second, I gotta check on this cat. She's freaking out. Okay, yeah, she's absolutely fine. There's not a problem with her. She's just, uh, she's, she just desperately wants attention. <laughs> Which I figured was the case, but... You know, you, you, you better check. Anyway. It's like, man, this kind of stuff's why I don't have kids. Instead, my cats are like, ooh, I'm like a child. Please treat me like a human child, or else I will concern you. Uh, didn't want to put that anywhere, honestly. It's just not the not the piece I would have asked for in that situation. These are not the pieces I would have asked for. Developing my way into long boy desires here, but my desires have been fulfilled. My desires are unconventional. I've never seen Fifty Shades of Grey, for what I, what I hope are obvious reasons. Reason number one, I'm not the target demographic. Reason number two, even if you are at the target demographic, I've heard it's just garbage anyway. Like, just read actual erotica. Have the balls to at least just say, yeah man, I'm reading porn. Honestly, I'd respect you more if you were just honest with yourself about it. Um, yeah. No one cares if you're horny, so you read a book to get rid of your pent-up sexual frustrations. Honestly, we've all been there. I mean, I, I haven't. I don't think I've ever read a book for those purposes. I'm just trying to be entertaining. All right, 7,000, or rather, level seven was no big deal. We crushed it, and crushed our previous score as well, which means our name will be Crush. Boy, let me tell you, that show last night, that was hot. It was the same venue I saw Ministry in. It was not hot during Ministry, because what was the ministry crowd like? It was all like 50 year old dudes who were sitting <laughs> the entire time. Uh, this was like people between the age of like 21 and 30. All, well, not all, but a lot, very, very many of them incredibly gay, and that's absolutely okay. I support them. I'm glad they had a great time. But boy, dancing for like two hours straight, basically, through the opener and then through Charlie, and then some of them were even dancing during like the in-between music. I was like, good God, where do you people get the energy? <laughs> How can you still be dancing? I'm not upset at you. I'm just surprised. This is an interesting song. It's pretty good, actually. It's a completely different vibe from what you would expect, though. But man, it does, it does sound very good. That's a Tetris. Continue to build up here. So you can regret it later. Uh, yeah, uh, that T has to go down there because I need to make sure I don't 
create a disaster zone for myself, which, as far as I'm concerned, mission failed. Like, how many long pieces am I relying on deeply right now? Enough. But as long as I can keep this mess up here under control... Boy, that piece did its best to try to make sure I couldn't. Anyway, that's a long piece. This is, this is a really, uh, this is an interesting track, for sure. It's another Tetris. That was multiple Tetrises in a row, which, you know, probably my best work. Oh, am I really gonna build a pit in the center of the screen? You know, he who dares wins, is what they say. That's another consecutive Tetris. I have I I have to break the streak there just for the sake of kind of getting this under control. <laughs> Nothing here is actually under control though. What is this giant tower in the middle of the playing field? Not my greatest work is what I'll say. And then yeah. Why put that in a helpful place and you could make it horrific. I need another long one, and I'm sure that if I just bide my time, the game will be kind enough to provide that to me. Tetris provides for its people, you know? Look at that! What did I tell you? Man, I, I, I hope that this is like the best score that any of you have ever seen. This has to go here, unfortunately. And this kind of has to go here. It's not a Tetris, but whatever. It keeps me... it keeps me in the game. This is where things start to unravel here. I was getting some real good brick drops. I should have put that on the other side. But all good things must eventually come to an end. This goes here. This has to go here. I'm putting it there, you know? I need to build up a little more down there for this to make sense. With this br brick. Thank you, thank you. And then we get another Tetris out of it. I'm learning, man! I'm learning! The lengths I have come in this video as far as I'm concerned, are mighty impressive. Look at how many Tetrises I have accomplished in this run right here. It's the music. It's all the music. Hate to do it. Sometimes you have to make short-term sacrifices to make the long-term work better. And sometimes you just have to do stuff that makes you say what the heck, like that. That goes there, and you go there. Stack that up right there. Oh shit. Okay, okay, this is golden, this is golden actually. Look at that. Not, not a traditional play. I've made a grave mistake, I feel. That's okay. Not that grave. Perfect. We get this just slotted in here. And then we kind of have to do this. Okay. This is where I think things start to unravel a little bit here. Which is fine. I mean, that was such a strong early performance from me. At least I would say so. But I'm fine if the steam train slows down just a little bit. 
obviously everybody would love to see the train uh, continue at full speed, but we have to be environmentally conscious about this. We can't just let the train run away the entire time, you know? Don't be stupid. Put that there. Put that there. There, I guess. Here. Okay. I'm in, I'm in the zone now, man. Once it hits level 9, I'm gonna be completely outside of the zone. That's another Tetris. And we can set up another Tetris. As long as we're smart. Yeah, don't, don't put that over there yet. That's a trap. Don't put it over there yet. It's still a trap. Just because you get a long one doesn't mean you have to use it immediately, you know? Just because you get a long one doesn't mean you have to use it immediately! There we go! Then you erupt when the time is right. Well, that, that's, that's, that's kind of crappy. Bad, bad time to give me a square piece. You know what? This is a rebuilding period again now. Oof. Kind of nasty rebuilding period. Like, just, you know, just, just put that over there for now. Put that over there for now. <laughs> I'm not building a garbage hole over on the other side, so I can I can live with it for now. However, oh thank you, thank you. I was gonna say I won't get a long one though. The long ones, they come at a pretty respectable rate though, don't they? Like I don't feel like I've been getting screwed out of anything here. Oh yes, and then another Tetris. That's a new high score. Easily. I've learned how to play Tetris, everybody. Enjoy it while you can, because we're almost at level 9. Shit. That's not a Tetris. I'm already panicking. Dude, I- like, I do so poorly under stress in real life and in video games. Like, once... Once it comes crunch time, I start folding. I think I've said that before, but... Okay, it's level 9. The most important part is that we have not yet completely screwed up. Although that may have just happened with that. Shit. That's really bad. Yeah, construct firmly on the garbage hole. That's what I was looking to do here. Shit. Yeah, okay, I can't... I... Ah! I, I, I can't press the D-pad fast enough to get anything over there! Yeah, that's, that's the end. However, much better score. We improve every time. I don't know if I'm gonna improve next time, because honestly, 76,736 won't be the best Tetris score I've ever gotten in my life. I, uh, predominantly due to the fact that I admittedly have not played a ton of Tetris in my day. Yeah, I played it on the Game Boy when I was a kid, but never for long periods at a time. I'd be like, play a game and be like, oh, that was fun. Okay, next. N dot slash. Yeah. The name of the century. Okay, let's do it again. For what is likely one more time. As long as I don't make a total mockery out of this attempt, at least. 
Yeah, this is this is a good song actually. It's entirely different from everything else you expect from Tetris music, but I'm I'm here for it. Hey, you know, for the first time in my life, I am asking to please cease giving me long long ones. <laughs> it's I appreciate the thought, but hey, that's fine. I'll take that one. I just wanted to make the music go fast, you know? I'm in a predicament now, though. And the only solution is a Tetris. Can we get the fast music back, please? I was I was working great under the stress. <laughs> Despite uh, the fact that I've been saying the complete opposite this entire time. But screw this screw this block right now, honestly. You know what? I have an idea. I thought that that was still gonna be a Tetris, but you know, then I forgot I didn't have a long one in that other side. Oh well. We do this. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have looked at what the next block was. Boy, this this is not nearly as good as last time was. I'm getting completely run over this time. <laughs> this is absolutely maidenless. We just cap it off, and then I pretend that I know what I'm doing. Shit! <laughs> okay, that was that was that was an absolute failure. That was that was abysmal. Things did not go as planned. When that happens, you pick yourself up and you go back again. I refuse to say pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Because honestly, that is the most, like, incorrectly used phrase of all time. The original intention of that phrase is, uh, to basically ask somebody to do the impossible. And it doesn't take any amount of actual human thought to realize that that's what that means. Because, well, let's just take the individual words. Pick yourself up. Already, you can't do that. You can, like, jump, and that's the closest you can get by your bootstraps. You want me to reach down, grab my bootstraps, and then lift myself up. Physically impossible. Yeah, I know, this may just sound like me being an ultra nerd and, like, overanalyzing a saying, but the saying makes no damn sense. Sincerely. It's one of the dumbest things people say. I needed this to plug this little hole here. I've created a very unfortunate hole over here, which I'm now building over because I have absolutely no respect for anybody. Least of all myself. Now I need two long boys, and one of these won't even be a Tetris. It won't even get us close to <laughs> resolving that hole. Maybe we don't care and we just say we're playing from behind this whole time now. Like, I, I, I've just completely forsaken that area. No, you know what? Let's be at least slightly responsible and clear that out. And then go right back to building where we shouldn't. Nah, no, psych! I'm getting greedy! That should have gone over there. Oh, I feel awful. It's 
fine. It's fine. Check out how fine that was. I wasn't worried for a second, despite the absolute stunning silence after what I realized what I had done. Did we get bailed out, or am I just that good? I refuse to answer the question because uh, the answer is probably not something that I actually want to hear. Put you over here. Put you up here. You down here. You fit right over here. Check this out. That's a Tetris. In a world where it looked like I was going to uh, ruin everything, I instead choose to ruin it like this. Yeah! You know what? Create all the pits you want. That's the new strat. The song isn't helping me anymore. The peaceful song has betrayed me. Yeah, build on build on the hole. Nope, that was not a T-spin. Can you even do T-spins in NES Tetris? Is that a, a, a strategy that just doesn't work and I'm trying to make it work because of my own ignorance? I wouldn't be Don't ask what that placement is. Wow, thanks for the long one, the worst possible time that it could have showed up. Boy, not great. Yeah, those those last couple of runs paled in comparison to that 76,000-er. You know, you know what this means now? We only have a couple minutes left of this episode. Go back to the more hype song. Not level 9, hype 5. Check this out. <laughs> Oh no, 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 what have I done? This is like a kid picking expert on a guitar hero when they've never beaten a song on easy. I should give myself more credit than that. 76,000, man. Okay, uh, how about nine, zero. It's, it's just like playing on zero speed, except you have no time to think, but otherwise it's exactly the same. And you also have no time to make any inputs. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. See, look at that. That's a Tetris on 9 speed. I only had to start with literally nothing else on the playing field. It's called knowing your uh, limitations. Okay, you know what? I think, I think it's just time for me to accept that I'm not as bad at Tetris as I previously thought I was. That's perfect comedic timing, I would say. Oh, that could have all gone really, really well, and instead it went about as terribly as you can imagine. <laughs> ah, yeah. One, and then once you get up there, you may as well just put the controller down. Um, I didn't clear it, but that was still a decent score, actually. That was a high score, <laughs> despite not getting the clear. It couldn't go. You are a winner even- I'm a Tetris master even when I fail. That's... What's the- I, what's the ideal name? Oh! The only person who can be a true Tetris master is Tetris themselves. Yeah, remember where your letters are. Remember your basic alphabet song. Dude, look at these- these cheeky clowns give you just enough room to put in the word Tetris. 
we have less than a minute to go, so that's not really enough time to start another game. So, you know, we, we may as well just kind of call it slightly early there, which is fine because it's the end of October and November of 1989. How lovely, which means we get to go over what we thought the best and worst games of the month were. How nice. It's my favorite time of the release cycle. All right. So, I mean, I feel like it's almost pointless to give my thoughts on Tetris because the game's relevance speaks for itself. It remains a top-selling puzzle game to this day. It still gets new incarnations. It still sells like hotcakes. People will always be playing Tetris. Obviously, it's great. Obviously, it nailed the format the first try. Obviously, there's nothing more I can say about it that hasn't already been said. So, Tetris, there you go. <laughs> Now, starting from worst to best here, uh, the worst of the bunch was 720. Hated it. Loathed it. Hope to never play it again. Uh, 720 was just not a very fun game to me at all. The mini games weren't fun. Uh, skating around in the open world, open world wasn't fun. Just bad. Uh, next up was Goal. Didn't like Goal either. I felt out of control the entire time I played Goal. I felt like if I ever succeeded in anything, it was more of an accident than anything. It's just kind of an exercise in frustration. Sorry, Goal. Above that is Godzilla, Monster of Monsters. Very poorly made game, but at the very least, it had some interesting ideas, like the whole kind of board game aspect where you gotta move from hex to hex. So, I mean, it's not good, but it had that going for it. Next up was The Three Stooges, a glorified mini game uh, collection. Again, not great, but the love and attention given to the three stooges as a franchise was was evident there and that was all very well done so it was a very well presented bunch of completely forgettable mini games but good presentation can do a lot for how i judge you overall so that was that was pretty good above that is twin eagle which is just kind of a shmup it exists in a vacuum uh <laughs> not in a vacuum i guess but it it was okay it wasn't the best i've played it wasn't the worst i've played it's just your run-of-the-mill shoot 'em up above that is casino kid which was surprisingly robust for a casino game the way that it was presented as an rpg like i felt like i was playing like the overworld of pokemon in between games of uh blackjack the problem is there just was there just weren't enough casino games to play it was like two card games and that was it no roulette no slots uh that you need a little bit more than two card games to carry your game there i would say that casino games on the master system was an overall better package despite casino kid having more interesting presentation above that is wheel of fortune jr i enjoy board game video game. not 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 board game i enjoy game show video games actually uh because game shows are kind of fun and being able to participate in the game show is fun it's basically the exact same game as wheel of fortune and wheel of fortune was fine nothing else to say above that is romance of the three kingdoms a game which i did not really understand that well which was made ultra apparent by my abysmal performance but i heavily respect the ambition of it and i heavily respect the notion of trying to do an almost grand strategy-esque game on the nes it takes a lot of gall we've obviously seen that before with uh was it nobunaga's ambition yeah which it, it felt like almost the exact same game with a different set of window dressing but hey uh i respect it i don't know if i'd immediately go out to get myself a copy because there are better ways to do grand strategy in the year 2022 but there you go above that is stealth atf a game which really really surprised me because i was expecting it to be just abysmal and instead i had a lot of fun with it um it was the most playable flight sim i've played on this channel yet that's even counting the couple of genesis games that have tried to do it 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 was uh, just surprisingly fun. What else can I say? Above that is Jeopardy Junior Edition. I gave you my piece about game shows in video game format. I tend to enjoy them. And Jeopardy is, I think, a much better game show than Wheel of Fortune. As such, answering trivia questions in a video game is great. Again, it's the same thing as uh, normal Jeopardy, just with, I think, slightly easier questions. Although even then, I don't know if I agree, because some it's the, it's the are you smarter than a fifth grader syndrome, where they're simple questions, but they're also things you haven't had to pay attention to since you were like 10. <laughs> and then the best game of the release cycle is pretty easily Tetris. 
I mean, look at the competition. It was kind of a dead period. Like there was very little exciting going on this entire release uh, cycle here. So yeah, Tetris ran away with it and didn't really have any problems in doing so. Congratulations, Tetris. You may enjoy your crown. Now, December of 1989, we'll get to close out 1989 here, and uh, we will have 13 games that came out that month. So, uh, there could be some very, very interesting stuff here. I do see some games that I look at and I'm immediately like, ooh, that could be interesting. That could be fun. I don't know what that game is. Maybe that's good. Uh, there are also a couple that I am familiar with and I'm thinking that's probably going to be awful. Unfortunately, we're going to start off with probably the least interesting of the bunch, which is all pro basketball. So, you know, just another sports game, one of about a billion that we'll see on this channel. Uh, we'll see if it can stand up to double dribble uh, or see if it is superior to hoops. <laughs> Either way, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you next time.